good. Sir, we have finished the spears. There are enough for all of us, with ample replacements. Excellent, Flynn. Sir, you ordered the manufacture of shields, but we're having trouble finding sufficient raw material. <laughs> Understood, sir. We have been betrayed. Tamas and his followers have stabbed us in the back. My wife lies dead at their hands. Blood must be repaid in blood. Soon we shall enact our retribution. Soon. Story so far, Khan Noonien Singh, genetically engineered warlord from 20th century Earth, had been given a world to rule, an empire to build. Following their attempt to hijack the USS Enterprise, Khan, his people, and his new love, Marla MacGyvers, are left to their own devices on the savage world, SETI Alpha 5 which had been transformed from a paradise to a wasteland not long after their arrival. Soon, disaster breeds discontent, as a group of Khan's followers plot to overthrow his rule, kidnapping Marla and subjecting her to the mind-controlling Seti Eels in an attempt to assassinate Khan. The assassination attempt fails, but at the cost of Marla's life. Now aware of the conspiracy and enraged at the murder of his wife, Khan prepares for civil war. This is your fault, Thomas. You pushed him too far. Mind your tongue, Jeff. We knew there would be risks, and so what if he moves against us? Have you so little confidence? He has mobilized all our brothers and sisters against us. Even now they prepare feverishly for war. Let them prepare. This war was declared the moment Khan allowed Kirk to defeat him and desert us here. What was that? There he goes. Probably Joachim. They know where we are now. Well then, they'll be here soon. Let's get this over with. I'm tired of this waiting game anyway. We're ready. I don't want us to get trapped inside this cave when the battle starts. We need to engage them in the open. I agree. The time is upon us. We must immediately prepare for what we all knew was inevitable. We are to survive. We must eliminate the final obstacle in our path. Come, let us ready ourselves quickly. This is our opportunity to catch them off guard. A few words, if I may, before we head out. You have honored me with your loyalty. Tamas and his followers, on the other hand, have shown only weakness and fear in the face of adversity. Only cowards would launch the craven attack on my wife. Only cowards would engage in the petty theft of our remaining power converter. Such men are not worthy of our genetically enhanced heritage. Let us finish this now. We shall put an end to this conflict by destroying the traitors among us. Then we will find a way to survive this hellish situation in which we now find ourselves. Eventually, I firmly believe we will see our opportunity. Either the conditions in the environment here will improve over time, or events will occur that will allow us to escape this misery. Perhaps one day Starfleet will finally become curious about our progress and see fit to pay us a visit. Either way, until that day, I will stand with you. Will you stand with me?
Advance! We have the advantage. Press forward. Where is he? There. Finish the work here, Joachim. Tamas is mine. Show yourself, Tamas. We both know I will find you. You brought this on yourself, Khan. Your obsession with that woman and your weakness allowed Kirk to maroon us here. You deserve this in a thousand times more. She was never one of us, barely the same species. And because of her, we lost the Enterprise, and yet you took her back! Enough! Oh, enough of your excuses, traitor. Traitor? You were the one who betrayed us. We die here due to your failures. Ha! You were always slow, Tamas. <laughs> Are you happy now? Is this how you would protect us? Where has your false leadership taken your people? Only to the grave. You were better than this, Tamas. Theft? Murder? You shame us all. Khan. Joaquin. Then the battle is ended. Yes, sir. Tamas's forces are defeated to the last of them. How many casualties among us? Five fell in battle. Thirteen more are wounded, but should survive. Good. Good. Not nearly as many as I had feared. You were saying, Joachim. You have prevailed, sir. Yours is the superior intellect. Now we see where they were hiding. These caves. Not exactly what you would call a comfortable environment in here. But look at the resources for the taking. Mushrooms and other fungus for food. Clear running water. This is excellent. Our survival is ensured. We now have another survivable habitat along with the cargo containers and a renewable supply of food and water. Later. Sir? An ironic appropriation, Joachim. Better to wear this around my neck than have to see it mocking me upon our every return. If we are destined to be a little more than refuse discarded by Starfleet, then let us look the part. Days grow into months. And months. grow into years. Are you seeing that, sir? Yeah, yeah, I am. What is that? We must hurry. Chekhov, are you sure these are the right coordinates? I can barely see anything. The tricorder must be broken. Wait, I'm getting readings. Over here. Yes, there's something. It looks like cargo containers. Bought in eBay. Bought in eBay. Is that what I think it is, sir? It is indeed, Joachim. 
It is our deliverance. Come, my friend. Let us greet our guests. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The story continues in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan.